Welcome to our Tech Explainer video. Today, we're tackling a question that many new JavaScript learners encounter. Our viewer is curious about why an ID selector with a hyphen doesn't work in JavaScript. Let's dive into the details and uncover the mystery behind this issue. Welcome back to another technical video. Today, we'll be going through your question, answering it, and hopefully finding that solution you need. Guys, remember to say just a little bit crazy, just like me, and work through to that resolution. Now, let's get started. Let's start by understanding the issue with using a hyphen in an ID selector in JavaScript. In JavaScript, when you use a hyphen in an ID, it creates a problem because hyphens are interpreted as subtraction operators. In your original code, the ID Tay message works perfectly because it follows the naming conventions for JavaScript identifiers. However, when you change it to Ta message, JavaScript cannot interpret it correctly. To fix this issue, you should avoid using hyphens in your ID names. Instead, use camel case or underscores. For example, you can rename te message to te message or tia message. Now, let's look at the corrected HTML code. Make sure to update the ID in both the text area and the JavaScript function calls. Finally, remember to test your code in different environments like JS Fiddle or your local setup to ensure everything works as expected. This will help you catch any issues early. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. When using an ID selector with a hyphen in JavaScript, the this keyword can be very helpful. You can pass this.id or this.name from your HTML element to your JavaScript function. This simple trick can make your code work effectively, even with IDs that contain hyphens. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. Using a hyphen in an element's ID or name can cause issues in JavaScript. Special characters like hyphens are not allowed. You can use this in your function to get the current text box. Here's how you can do it. Alternatively, you can pass the ID as a string to your function. This allows you to find the element by its ID. And that's it guys. I hope the video has helped find that resolution that you're looking for. And if it did, please hit subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. Now, until the next time you need a technical video, I hope you have a good one. Cheers.